Well, if you're watching this, then you're probably a big fan of all the other medieval building games on the channel, such as Kingdoms and Castles, and even more importantly, Foundation, which really closely matches this game in a way. Everybody, welcome to Going Medieval. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and you can wishlist this game right now on Steam if you want to, where we'll be building a medieval kingdom, a castle, a town, and much more. As you can see, the uh, townsfolk here are building defenses, towers, and walls going up, as well as a castle, the town itself, mining, farming, and much, much more. If you like games like RimWorld, Stonehearth, uh, any sort of uh, foundation, Ostrieve, that type of thing, then this will be the game for you. So make sure you go ahead and smash that like button if you'd like to see more of this game in a full episode episodic playthrough. I'd love to do it as much as I can for a beta. Keep in mind it'll be limited and there'll be bugs, but of course we can try to go as far as we can. And of course we will be rebuilding the Kingdom of Raptoria yet again. I know you guys love it and I love it too. So welcome back everybody. Glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section. If you'd like to uh, go ahead and spam that one, I will go ahead and heart your comment. Let's see how many likes and comments and positivity we can get down there for this brand new series for a game coming soon to Steam. We're going to go ahead and start ourselves a new game here. I tried it out for about uh, 10 or 15 seconds just to see how it functions, so we're going to pretend that didn't happen. All right, let's build Raptoria for the first time, guys. All right, let's go ahead and Raptoria. Uh, let's see if I can learn how to spell now. Sorry, I'm just still a peasant. We don't have a school up yet. And then let's go ahead and try something like 8675309. Okay, perfect. I think I've heard that somewhere before. All right, so our village name, our heraldry, uh, map type and such, we can't change at the moment, but there'll be more map styles available in the future, so that should be cool. And let's go ahead and start with our people here. We got Martin, Hunloff, and uh, Editha. Well, we gotta change some of those names so I can actually pronounce them. Well, let's go ahead and go with Steve, and also, uh, let's see, maybe Jill. There we go, that's good enough. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, actually, you can see all their skills here, just like in uh, RimWorld and other games like this where you get a group of people. You can see intellectuals and melee skills. And then also uh, more melee skills here. Very passionate about learning those, so that'll be good to train them on. There's also positive and negative attributes too, so we'll have to deal with those a little bit later. And also construction skills will be important, but everything can be improved upon. All right, let's go ahead and begin our first playthrough in Going Medieval. Here we go. Wow, those mountains are beautiful. It really reminds me of Foundation. And abruptly as it started, the reign of the plague ended. After it killed 95% of the inhabitants of the British Isles, it simply faded away, leaving behind a world changed and not for the better. It is the year of our Lord, 1351. Three brave souls ventured into the countryside, retaken by nature, in order to start anew. The name of their home was Raptoria. All right, beautiful. An excerpt from something. Okay, let's go. All right, let's begin. Welcome to Going Medieval. Please bear in mind the game is under heavy development. WASD to move the camera, of course. Uh, world layers with X and Z, and game speeds with 1, 2, 3. All right, that's some basic stuff just about moving the camera around. Let's get that music up, by the way. I'm liking this music already. Really reminding me of Foundation. There we go. Crank crank them tunes, bruh. Okay, let's see. We got Martin, Steve, and Jill here, and it looks like it's raining. Yep, that's uh, very foreboding about what's going to happen here. I don't see any water, but this is what the map will look like. So we got ourselves what looks to be, the, yep, limestone there. And we've got trees all around to cut down. Lots of berries, too. It looks like we can uh, uh, gather these. They're ripening, flowering, or uh, over here. Uh, let's see. Is there any that are ripe? Yeah. Okay, so we can gather food here. It looks like we started with a bunch of stuff. Just out in the rain? My goodness. Cabbage is sitting around. Um, Chronicle. Wood is sitting here, too. 150 plus that is 200. And we've got packaged meals and weapons around, too. Uh, looks like they're giving us a stockpile tutorial. Which I think is pretty easy. I think all we have to do is just zone that out. Yeah. Oh, we can actually make a cabbage field, too, so we can start farming. Uh, excellent. All right, let's build a home here, and let's build a stockpile over here. Maybe we'll put a roof over it later, like a storage barn. Let's do, like, a 5x5. Five five. There we go. And our people should rush into action. Excellent, to transport all the stuff there. While they're doing that, let's also lay out a home for our people to sleep in. Let's go ahead and build our first little uh, village house here for the three of them. Let's go ahead and uh, put... One there, and uh, let's see, a couple of wooden windows. Maybe they're like uh, brothers and sisters here out trying to conquer the wilderness. This is going to be interesting to see if we can survive against the elements. Maybe there'll be creatures out there. Of course, there are military uh, defenses in this game, and there are the, the ability to build towers and castles and things. We'll have to research up to it, but eventually we'll get there. Let's go time six here as we design our first home. It'll probably be a little small, but it's to conserve resources. Let's go a little further like that. Oop, looks like I built over on the wall. There we go. Excellent. That should be pretty good there. Uh-oh. Uh 
She's building that window in the corner. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and cancel that for a second. Actually, we'll cancel all this. Let's see if I can... Oh, it looks like you have to do it one at a time. All right, so we'll extend the wall a little bit. And the building in this really feels satisfying. We can actually build multiple levels to the walls, too. So we can actually build, like, two or three stories up. And that'll be quite helpful for us. All right, there we go. So that window should actually be appropriate. Good. It'll take me a minute to get used to this kind of uh, construction, as I don't uh, really have a lot of skills in this one. So just like these people here, I too am a newbie. And so we'll go ahead and uh, build from there. Okay, now we've got ourselves some walls up. Now we need a roof, which requires hay. So let's go ahead and build it like that. Good. A starting home. Quite large, actually. How much hay do we have? 120. We'll see how that goes. Construction tutorial complete. Oh, I've already got that. We're good. Looks like we don't have enough beds either. So we'll have to build inside. Oh, that's neat. Construction can fail, and then they need to gather more materials again. That's going to be a little annoying, but uh, at least we've got ourselves some uh, variety here. Something I haven't seen before. Let's get rid of these dead trees. And uh, cut those out of the way to make the town look more beautiful. Now, I think we can get some more residents eventually. But it'll be uh, soon. Soon. I wonder if we can put our cabbage anywhere if there's fertility. Oh! Actually, we have carrots, beet, and barley. So it's not necessarily just a cabbage field. It should say a farm field. And then we can grow cabbage, carrots, and whatnot. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. All year round. Oh, they're all different, too. Just like in real life. Good. All right. Well, let's start with the cabbage, then. It's raining. So let's try to put a field over here, maybe. We'll do like... I don't know how big they should be, so let's just do a 4x4. Four four. It might be too much for the people to take care of if it's too big. So let's start small. Looks like we're out of a lot of materials already, so... Um, yep, we're already starting the logging. Let's go ahead and continue to authorize logging of all these gross dead trees. I don't know if they give us less material. I think it's just a visual thing. I don't think there's really any big difference between them. Uh, current phase dead, 30, 10, 45, and 12. So it does look like they give you a little bit more if you cut down a living tree. All right, people are hungry, so they're coming over to have these meals. Good. And we're 13 hours in, and now finally, a beautiful day in Raptoria. Would you look at that? So we got a day-night cycle. We've got weather. We've got farming. We've got house building. We've got the ability to harvest uh, mushrooms, too. Let's go ahead and pick some of those now. And some of these berries, too. We'll eventually run out of these pre-made meals, so we've got to be careful with that. And there's also cabbage sitting around, so there must be a way to do that. Okay, let's peek inside the house. If we press X... Uh, where's our level here? We are on uh, pressing X and... Ah, oh, there it is. Yes. Okay. So now we can see inside the house. Furniture. We have a hay sleeping spot, so let's do that. I guess we'll put the three beds in the back here. I guess they're not brothers and sisters, are they? Because they all have different last names. I don't know. Maybe uh, mom was the lady of the night. Who knows? I don't know. Wow, what's all this darkness here? This must be where we can do some mining. Yeah, so we can actually mine into some of these areas, too. And you can see how large some of these hills are. Neat. What's up there? Uh, ah, iron ore is up there. So we'll have to do some surface mining and then eventual under uh, underground mining, too. Cool. Okay, so they're getting ready to build all this stuff here. And, yes, they have all the beds down now. Excellent. All right, what else can we build? Let's check out production. Looks like we have butcher tables, campfires, uh, boyer's table, basic research, and a woodworking bench. So the basic research and woodwork are probably the most important things to start with. Oh, it looks like they've already gotten started with the farming, too. We must have seeds or something sitting around somewhere. Yeah, it looks like they're actually yeah, planting the crops, so okay, that's a good start. We'll start with that, just because we only have three people. We don't have a lot of work, uh, room for a lot of work. So we'll start with just that for now. Not enough beds. One more needs to be made, so that'll be taken care of shortly. Things are going good so far. Jobs, let's see here. Job prior. Oh, we can set job priorities. Oh, this is very similar to... Wow, this is actually exactly how it is with um, Space Haven. That's weird. That's exactly how it looks. And I think it actually looks like this with uh, Flotsam, too. No. Yeah. That's weird. That's exactly the same, isn't it? Can anyone confirm? With the, uh, up, the arrows and the multiple arrows, depending on the... Uh, oh, that's really weird. Well, definitely inspired by it. I'm sure the developer will watch this video, too, so if you guys have any questions, make sure you ask about the game as to uh, what will be coming and things that we can do. I really want a multiplayer city builder as well, where somebody can build on, like, a different map and you can connect and trade resources. That'd be always fun to go to war with a friend or trade with them as needed. Okay. 
Oh, there's all of our resources there. I feel like... Oh, they're not even moving that stuff there. I wonder if food is stored differently. Well, I could put a wall around that as well, but that's going to take more time. So we'll just leave everything there and kind of just a pile. So we could build a barn here. We could build another house here. And then we could build farms all down this way. And possibly up here. There's some really good soil there. I just don't want to build too far away from the starting home. Don't want people to have to commute for half their day <laughs> just to get there. Ah, uh, look at that. Berries have been gathered up quite nicely. Wow, that's quite a bit. Well, if we need any more food, that's where we'll get them. It's berries and mushrooms for now. And there could be hunting in this game as well. I see uh, there's bones there. A raw material that we could use for uh, crafting things. And I don't see any animals out there, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. Ah, there we go. So there could be an opportunity for hunting. And, of course, that'll use that bonfire that we could craft as well. Let's go ahead and put that out front. 25 wood to make that. That'll be important for making food. Put the campfire a little little further away from the buildings. Looks like a bush is actually growing here. An ivy shrub. Oh, looks like we get fuel from that. Sticks and whatnot that we can use at the big old campfire. All right, let's speed up time a little bit. We got everything under control for now. Martin's building that campfire. Steve is delivering sticks. Good. And uh, all the trees that I requested have been cut down. And uh, logs are being brought back. Good. Let's go do a little clear cutting somewhere. Just to get us going. I guess we'll do some back here. There we go. Oh, what do we have here? Clay and iron sitting on the ground. Perfect. And it looks like we need one more bed, so we better tell our people to gather some more hay. Otherwise, somebody's going to be sleeping on the floor tonight. And they ain't going to be too happy about that. All that roof that we built, that's what took up the hay. All that uh, thatched roof came from all that hay. Yeah, that's what it means. Good. It's useful for more than just roofs. All right. Looks like the final bed has been made. We'll need this for additional uh, roof building and such. Steve, Jill, and Martin heading to bed now, possibly. Nope, running off into the forest to cut down one last tree, I guess. Get it, Jill. Wow, she's got some energy. All right, Steve is moving in. Nope, Martin first, then Steve and Jill. There you go. Everybody's taking a little nap. Not the best of beds, but at least it's good for a first night. We'll have to eventually upgrade. Okay, let's see here. We got a wooden torch that we can put down. Oh, that's going to be cool. Let's build some lights out in front of the house here. There we go. Maybe some by our stockpile. We'll eventually build a barn or something around that too. Okay, let's see what else we can put down while they're sleeping. A uh, research table or a woodworking bench. Let's start with research. We'll need both of them anyway. So let's put these inside the house for now. Research bench, very big. And woodworking bench, we'll throw that in the other corner. Right about there. Oh, wonderful. You can actually see they have a, a large uh, piece of bowed wood, which they use to actually, uh, you would put your foot on it, and it would roll that back and forth like a lathe. That's cool. Really neat. And it's a way that you uh, put like in a, a little uh, scraper, which essentially just narrows down the wood, is the uh, way to explain it, I guess, for... For the layman, such as me. A layman explaining to the layman. The uh, blind leading the blind. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get everybody up here. There they go. Yeah, they're not happy about the bed. I wouldn't be either. Not on a hay bed like that. But soon we will upgrade. We'll get the research going. Ah, good. There goes the lights around the town. Nice. Okay. And the uh, farming is going okay, too. Oh, it looks like everything has been placed over here in the stockpile. They had some extra time to do it. Good. Very good. All right, I want to pick some more berries. Don't want to run out of food. Food is my biggest concern. Every game's a little different. You know, for example, uh, in a game like uh, Banished, you definitely want to immediately start on harvesting food and uh, sending people out to gather. But every game's a little different. Some games are a little less uh, forgiving, and other games are a little more forgiving based on what you're doing. Okay, so here it looks like we can hire some staff members. No, I'm just kidding. Staff, cudgel, wooden spear, and flail. And over here we have uh, chronicles that can be used for, I guess, Riddick? No. These are, um... Oh, I see. So this is where we can produce research points to then do research. Uh, let's see. Unlock new buildings and options. Take care of your books. Having them destroyed or stolen will cause... Oh, actually, you can lose research points. Okay. So we'll definitely need to put something around those books. Well, let's start with architecture. So let's unlock that. And everything else from here on out is 
uh, locked, it seems. Research 2, research 3, distilling, agriculture, brewing, uh, iron construction, defensive traps. Okay, so we need 150 points to go to the next level, which will allow us to make winter clothes and caps and such. There's thesis, tech books, and chronicles. Okay, so we'll need somebody to work on these. I don't know who will be good at uh, making these, but we need to make... Uh, is there a way I can just assign, like... I don't know, let's make, like, 200 of these. We'll eventually go through all of it, so I don't know. Is he making one at a time, or is there a way to do multiple? I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming the best person for the job probably hopped on that, too. I think he's the uh, the, the best one uh, for the job. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, dear. Sir? Could somebody get that? We have a wooden spear. Uh, hunt. All right, let's see if we can go on the hunt now. The legendary Raptorian stag. Glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section. If you're enjoying this, by the way, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I would love to do a full series on this. It is always exciting to see new building games and to see how they function and to uh, watch all the... Uh, oh, wow, that's going to be really cool. I like the home building in this already, so it's going to be neat to see exactly how everything uh, plays out here. So it looks like the farm field is growing, so nobody's really doing anything at the moment. And let's see if we can do some... Uh, I don't know if I can do harvesting of, like, the... Um, Iron nuggets and stuff. I guess we'll need a tool for that. That's why the hand is there. So it'll require not raw hands, but some sort of a, a tool to do so. I don't know if we have one. We have swords, spears, crossbows, and basic weapons, but nothing really uh, tool-wise. But they did get out the hose earlier, and uh, they were working on the field. So, all right, let's continue to cut down trees, though. We're definitely going to need those. And uh, I'll just cut down at random, so that way we have a little bit of trees near our house. I want it to look pretty. Okay, there we go. We're going to stockpile some wood. Looks like nobody's hunting the deer. I figured they would. We have a crossbow here. Be a good weapon to uh, go and uh, hunt the deer with. Let's build a little uh, barn here now. A little st uh, shed stockpile, I guess. There we go. Don't need to have any windows on this one. It's just simply a little, little shed. Deer, would you get out of here? God, it's not even afraid of us. Oh boy, how are we gonna manage if we're not even uh, scaring off a little deer? Oh, I should have built that up a little higher. Let's try that again. There we go. Hopefully we have enough hay for that as well. And it looks like they're going to sleep. Wonder if I click harvest and do this. Will it harvest everything or only what's ripe? Ah, good. It only picks the good stuff. Excellent. Okay. Well, that deer is embarrassing. Uh, hunter lacks ranged weapon. Um, no. We have a crossbow. Maybe we have to make something else. Well, the first important thing then is to get research. We're up to 70 now. So we can start unlocking more stuff in time. Okay, so now we've got a house and a little storage barn. And we've got a farm field. And I'd like to get more of that stuff up, but I don't want to overwork our people with the amount of stuff there is to do. So let's just harvest all the berries that are available. Oh, are they all available? No, these are spoiled. Flowering? I don't want you to pick everything. Spoiled might make us sick. I don't know about that. Wait, I didn't see... Well, one of these must have been spoiled. Maybe they'll pick... The budding ones might uh, have less of a capacity or something like that, but whatever. We'll let the game uh, dictate what goes on there, and we'll see how it plays out by trial and error. That'll be just fine. And as for uh, more trees, more log production, we need somebody to carry some of that stuff back. Let's clear out... Um, let's see. We need a few more trees, I'd say. We need some way to grow trees. A lot of these are up on the hills, so I can't reach them. I wonder if there's a difference. Actually, let's see here. A Scots pine gives us 10. A oak tree gives us 15. Hmm. Looks like the pine tree is bigger, but it seems like it produces less. Maybe it's uh, more plentiful or something. Maybe it grows in better conditions or uh, in worse conditions. It's more aggressive in its growth. Uh, let's see. Production speed, no active production. So we can actually produce stuff here if needed. Um, a fire for warmth and cooking, gather round, bring a story. Okay, so there's maybe some social aspect to that. A wooden beam. Beams of solid wood held up floors and ceilings in England for centuries. Ah, so we can build a second floor if we want to. Uh, no need at the moment, I suppose. Uh, we have a, uh, boyer's table for creating bows. Let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if I could build a, um, like a little... 
uh, let's try to build something behind the shed. Maybe I can build like a little awning to come off there and build make a bow. So I guess we'll need to build a table specifically for a hunter's bow. Then they won't they won't be able to go hunting with the crossbow. So that that's okay. Wait a minute. Oh, thought those were hunks of meat. All right, everybody's hungry, but food is plentiful. It's sitting all around everywhere, and we got plenty of mixed meals in here too, or packaged meals. And Steve is working on the uh, the bows. So that is everything for what we need. Ah, station for hanging and preparing meat carcasses. Okay, let's go. I guess we could put that nearby. Okay, so now we got that done. Let's build a little meat processing area over here somewhere. I, I don't mind building little uh, things now. Little little buildings uh, for all the little tasks. A little hunter shed, that type of thing. That's cool. Uh, short bow or war bow? Alright, let's start with a short bow. I don't think we'll need to build any sort of arrows. I think it's just want it free with the bow. So that's good. Alright, so now Jill is working hard at doing some chronicles too. What do we have for research? 70, okay. It'll take a while to get to where we need to do to unlock a lot of stuff. Hopefully we can find ourselves a, a deer soon. Oh, there he is still. Okay, I thought he vanished. But we're good. And we have a butcher's table. Hanging and preparing meat. I wonder if we can get leather from here, too. I guess we'll see. I like the voxel style on that one. Okay. Let's see. I wonder if I could put, like, a wooden beam and just... No, I can't click and put it down here. So it'll have to be within a wooden wall. Now, can I build the thatched roof over the top of this? Let's see. So we'll need to put, put some sort of supports or something there in order to support the awning over the top of that. Oh, and it looks like we can build different types of roofs, too. I just noticed that we had that for upgrade, as well as clay walls and limestone walls, too. Good. So now we can build different materials. Of course, to mine that, we'll need a higher level, so that'll take place soon. Soon. In time. In time. Okay, so do we have anything that's required for the hunter's bow? Uh, looks like it just takes 20 wood, and we should have all the wood we need. Yeah, there's 66 there. So whenever somebody's free, they'll do that. It's the night time, so they're grabbing a meal and going off into the forest, I guess, to do something. Okay, we're going to need some more wood here for production and for fuel. So I'll opt to cut those down as well. All right, looks like we got a lot of basic food for a while. Everybody's getting to work on cutting stuff, so that's good. So we're, uh, yeah, so we can build underneath the ground... Ah, to which there's something sparkling there. Is that the fire, I think? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, it looks like a meal is actually cooking. Somebody's actually making something. Oh, they can make meals here. That's how we do that. So we'll be able to make a meal, which I don't know what, what exactly is required to produce a meal. But let's make, uh, I don't know, 10 of those. Does it say? Ah, here it is. Uh, produces meal or packaged meal. So I guess if somebody cooks, if they combine, for example, meat, berries, and mushrooms, it'll give them a much longer uh, or filling meal than if they were to just eat it raw. Makes sense. Okay, let's harvest that. Oh, that went bad, I guess. Disappeared. I'll have to find some more berries and stuff in the, in the morning. Uh, Bunny, could you just hop up here and butcher yourself? That'd be nice. Just help me out. Cool. All right, what do we got else? Uh, I don't see any bears or anything elsewhere. So it seems like I've only seen rabbits and deer so far. So it doesn't look like there's any threats to the woods yet, but maybe there could be a pack of wolves that could pass through or whatnot. What, what about our jobs at the moment? I think everything's kind of equally important at the moment, but let's put uh, Steve on research because he's much more uh, skilled at that. What else is there? Research, hauling, tailoring, carpentry, smithing, craft, cook... Uh, cutting plants, mining, harvesting, growing, construction, hunting, and uh, I don't know what, tend, maybe? Uh, tend, I don't know if that's to the garden. Ooh, speaking of the garden, check that out. Are these ready to go? Cult cult cultivatable true. Ripening, okay, no, we don't want to do that just yet. What is that? Is that a pile of something? What is that? Ash. Oh, we make ash from cooking stuff. Hmm. Okay, so that must be able to be used for something else. Wow, now I'm starting to think our stockpile is quite small. 
I wonder if there's a way we can build um, maybe racks for weapons and uh, boxes for things or shelving. That'd be interesting. Maybe there's a way to research that later in the game. Speaking of research, let's take a look at our... Uh, oh, we also have scheduling too, which is exactly like uh, Space Haven as well, where you can tell people what their shift will be. Um, right now, I guess this is fine. To, to work during the day and to sleep during the night. I think that makes sense to me. What do we want to do first? We're getting very close to our first research after architecture. Furniture, defensive structures, smelting. Hmm, smelting might be important, but I don't know if we can actually make... I need to be able to make wet, um, tools first in order to gather that stuff, like clay and uh, iron or whatever else is out there. Stone block cutting, preserving food. We can make a smokehouse... That'll require us to harvest clay and limestone. Tailoring seems important. Oh, a sewing station, cap, and winter clothes. That seems to be the most important so far. That might be very important. It is spring day four, so we could actually grow some flax. I wonder if there's a way to trade. That'd be great. I kind of want to go down that route. Uh, villagers are idle. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Did we uh, create that weapon yet? Well, it looks like uh, it was made. So whoever... Huh. Somebody needs to pick up a uh, thingy there, I guess. Okay. What else can the villagers do? We still need to keep chopping trees, I guess. So let's have a clear cut over here, then. We're going to need all the lumber. There we go. That's going to stop everyone from being idle. Now let's also do some harvesting here. And uh, is there a mushroom patch nearby? Oh, it looks like actually we... Got a lot of the cutting done. Logs just need to be brought back, but we don't have room for it. That's fine. If it sits out there, we can always bring it back later. So the wilderness can be our storage yard for now. Steve has completed all the chronicles required for tailoring. There's also research, too. So tailoring will unlock the armor, preserving food cooking, decorative banners, decorative structures, and defensive traps. I think clothing is going to be a little bit more for important for our people at the moment. So let's just do that first. I don't want them to freeze in the winter. That seems to be the priority number one. And uh, sewing station. Oh boy. How much uh, wood do we have sitting around? We'll need to build some more structures then for each little individual job. Or we could add another floor onto the house. But I think what we'll do is we'll keep this forever. And we'll restructure this to be something else. We can get the beds, for example, out of here. And then we can uh, put inside uh, more... Um, production buildings. Well, there could be room in here for a sewing station. Well, it's not going to be ideal, but we can always move it. So let's just plop it there in the middle of the room. So that way at least it has somewhere to stay. And we'll build around the uh, other rooms here shortly. Martin's having himself a meal. Making some stuff there. Some of the cabbage has been rotten now, but we have more growing. And uh, I guess we just don't have enough time to make food. Let's go ahead and make some important jobs here. So let's put somebody on cooking. Let's put uh, let's put Jill on cooking. She's actually a good smith too. So cooking and, and smithing kind of both with fire and stuff like that. She's dealing with fire. And let's see. She's playing with fire, y'all. And what about cutting plants? Does that mean logging? Yeah. So let's put Martin on that. A little higher priority on that. And I definitely want the research done first and foremost. Oh, boy. A barbarian snack. Uh, somebody broke out of their chains? What is this? Uh, some say tales of the progeny eating people are poppycock, but they cross themselves with coal appears, having escaped the brutes while sharpening their knives. Cannibals may come looking for their lunch. Will you keep coal off the menu? Welcome to Raptoria. Ah, we have a new person. Cool. All right, so now we have somebody who is new. So now we have four people to deal with. Okay, so scheduling might be more important now because then we we don't have enough beds. So I guess we're going to be uh, sharing a bed. Not not an ideal situation, but let's see. Uh, hunting. Cole, we could put him on that. Apparently he's hungry and blacked out near the fire. Great. Uh, let's see. Didn't really get much of a chance. Well, he's going to be our smither now. Looks like he's pretty good at that. Also hunting, too. Well, let's put him on cutting plants. We, we got to do the law. Actually, no, let's put him on hauling. There we go. All right, so everyone's going to have a nice sleep. I didn't expect that. I figured maybe people had to live together and eventually would have children or perhaps uh, new people would come to the city 
via like, oh, hey, we're moving in. But this is actually him just trying to escape cannibals. That's crazy. That's crazy, y'all. That's as crazy as everybody commenting glory to Raptoria down below. I think we've gotten a good start so far. Nobody's died of hunger, and we're definitely going to be making uh, products now for our people to wear. Uh, we now can start making winter clothes, and that'll cr uh, require clothing fabric. So we better start working on our farm then for our flax. Let's see where that is. Uh, right there. Perfect. So now we can start making winter clothes. Uh, let's make another field here. Maybe we should make two fields. I feel like maybe we want to get more of this up first. We'll do we'll do all the uh, farming for the flax first, and then we'll be able to make clothing after all that's been stored. We're definitely going to need a bigger storage yard too. Oh god, vegetable rot. Get rid of that. Forbid that. Get get rid of that stuff. Get rid of that. Looks like stuff can rot here. That's all the vegetables and stuff. But luckily, we got more coming in. The cabbage is almost ready. In fact, it's uh, ripening in two, two days, I think, maybe. And we got plenty of logs coming in, too. Fantastic. All right, guys. This has been a really good first look at this game, and I want to play it more. We're only barely just scratching the surface. And my understanding of these games, as you may uh, have guessed, is not perfect compared to the other city games that I've played. But every game is different. There's always quirks in all of them. And this is a beautiful beta for us all. Make sure you add it to your wish list and I'll be back tomorrow with more if you'd like. So make sure you smash the like button and thank you everybody for being here. You're fantastic. Thanks for being a part of the best community on YouTube. I welcome your positivity and all of your feedback, questions, and whatnot down below. And I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye, everyone.